Welcome back, another episode. Under the Bridge, Episode 8, concludes the program while delivering poignant lessons about trauma, death, and life. The true story of Reina Verk's murder is dramatized in the Hulu miniseries Under the Bridge, which is based on the books of the same name by Rebecca Godfrey and Reina, a father's story by Manjit Verk. A gang of her peers viciously attacked the 14-year-old, and two of them later killed her. On Reina Verk's death night, what actually went down? Mercy Alone, the eighth episode of Under the Bridge, provides a comprehensive account of Reina Verk's experiences on both sides of the bridge. Joe told Dusty it was an initiation, and she planned the attack on Reina in advance. When she arrived, they followed Reina from the shoreline to the phone booth next to the bridge. They pulled Reina beneath the bridge, and then they began hitting and kicking her until Layla yelled for them to stop. The first assault and the six teenagers who were involved in it came to an end at this point. Warren and Kelly followed Reina to the opposite side of the bridge as the teens scattered. Warren testified that Kelly told Reina to take off her jacket and boots. Warren then joined in on her attack on Reina. They jumped on her, kicked her, and punched her. Contrary to what Warren claimed during his trial, he made no attempt to halt Kelly. Reina was hauled toward the river by the two. Kelly then lowered Reina's head into the water while holding her. In Hulu's Under the Bridge, Warren Glowatsky minimizes his role in attacking Reina and pulling her toward the sea by lying about his involvement in her murder. Kelly Ellard receives special, opulent treatment as she appears before the judge in Under the Bridge to receive her sentence. The judge rules that she should only serve five years in prison due to her high grades and supportive family. In the final scene of Under the Bridge, Suman and Manjit Verk, Reina's parents, discover a biggie CD that Reina cherished prior to her passing. Rebecca Godfrey witnesses a man in front of her holding up a newspaper containing her author's headshot, and the question, justice for Reina, during the montage of everyone's lives following the trials. Unfortunately, Reina Verk's story is not given justice in the actual book, even if Rebecca acknowledges her failure in the Under the Bridge ending. The reason Cam was in Seven Oaks and her real past are ultimately revealed in Under the Bridge Episode 8. As part of the Adopt Indian and Medis program, Cam's family was forced to give up her. The government's practice of removing First Nations, Medis, and Inuit children from their families is a terrible chapter in Canadian history. The message conveyed by Under the Bridge's conclusion is that life goes on despite tragedy. Reina Verk's life was ended by the terrible aggression of youths, but she had to find a way to move forward with the help of her attackers, parents, and community. Time cannot be stopped, as demonstrated when the CD finishes and her parents are left in agonizing quiet. Nevertheless, Reina's legacy endures thanks to her surviving family members, her neighborhood, and now every person who has watched Under the Bridge on Hulu. For more videos, subscribe.